all we say to America is be true to what you said on paper. So we're saying give peace a chance. We're not thinking in terms of 10 years. We're thinking in terms of peace forever. Everybody's talking about now. I want peace now. I regard myself as a soldier, though a soldier of peace. We have come because we see this as a dark hour in the affairs of men. For most of us, this is a new move. The object is to meet people everywhere conscious of the importance of human rights and freedoms. I can be tender and I can be sensitive and I can be compassionate and uh, I can admit sometimes that I'm afraid. What is needed is a realization that power without love is reckless and abusive and that love without power is sentimental and anemic. The rights of man come not from the generosity of the state but from the hand of God. I feel that uh, non-violence, organized I should say, organized uh, non-violent resistance is the most powerful weapon. The torch has been passed to a new generation of Americans born in this century, tempered by war and unwilling to witness or permit the small undoing of those human rights to which this nation has always been committed. So I'm happy tonight. I'm not worried about anything. I'm not fearing any man. But I want you to know tonight that we as a people will get to the problem.